Very interesting game and a lot of talking points that I'm going to go over after the highlights. Right now I thought I was going to tell you a little bit about how I analyze my game, what I look for. And here is something to look at. Just gotta wake up the next day with the intention of doing 110% no matter the results you've got before. Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So what's on the agenda for today? In today's episode, I thought I was going to show you some inside training, some goalkeeper training, and also the game we played last weekend against FF. A very interesting game and a lot of talking points that I'm going to go over after the highlights. And obviously, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe button. You already know all of this. Anyway, I thought I was going to show you our goalkeeper training from training yesterday. So on Monday, the day after I'm uploading this video, I'm going to travel to Croatia and spend my time there two weeks and then travel home to Sweden and prepare myself for the second part of the season. That means that I have to clean my room and pack my suitcase. And in fact, we got a game on Sunday, which means that I have to pack my suitcase before that game because that game is 6 p.m. and it's at 8 p.m. In other words, I have to prepare everything before that game. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to clean my room and start picking out a few things that I want to bring to Croatia. Anyway, I thought I was going to show you the game highlights against Bo FF right now. And then afterwards, I'm going to talk about a few things. So speak with you in a bit.
So not really the result we wanted. We were up 1-0 in half time and felt like we dominated the majority of the half, first half. And then in the second half, they came out with a strong mentality to turn the game around, which they did, unfortunately. And you could see that after they scored their first goal in the like 47th minute, that brought a lot of energy and momentum to their side. However, right now, I thought I was going to tell you a little bit about how I analyze my game, what I look for. So the first thing I do is that I look through the game and cut out everything or every time the ball is in the box, essentially what you guys see in the videos. Then what I do is that I'm looking at my saves and goals I concede. Also, if I intercept any passes, crosses, anything like that and I try to see what went right and what went wrong in those situations so for example right here you can see me playing very high up my line they play a through ball I'm high up I can claim the ball and luckily I get a ball in between his legs I was trying to get it around him because I knew I had a center back behind him that is a good action playing high up my line and being very confident and calm even though he's pressing me. However, here you can see me have the ball around the mid circle and you can see me trying to play a cross ball to switching side. However, one of their players intercepted and that is an action that is not that good. And when I find a action that is not that super, I look at if it's a technical or decision error. Did I take the wrong decision or did I do something technically wrong? And if I want my left back to get the ball right there, then that pass need to be perfect. Then I could have tried to find my striker or the wingers. In general, I think my distribution wasn't so good that game. Had a few weird strikes and got some weird spin on the ball. Anyway, that is what I'm trying to look for. And if I see that I'm doing the same mi mistakes or errors in multiple games, then I try to see if I can work on that. Because if you do one mistake once, then that's fine. But if you do it multiple times, then that is something you want to work on. And I thought I was going to go over the second goal. So I got it here on my computer and let me just so if you look at the second goal, their player is pretty wide and his only option is to pass it in or cross it in. And if you look at my stance, you can see that I'm trying to cover my front post a bit too much. Maybe, and this is a maybe, it's very difficult in these type of situations because you have to take split second decisions. However, maybe if I would have stood just half a meter to my left, then uh, maybe I could get a touch on the pass. Because if you look at that specific situation, you can see that I'm trying to dive for it. And it is about half a meters to a meters from me. And also, if you want to go even deeper into the analysis, you can see that I'm, my first step is twisting my body. Then a few minutes later, I'm making a good save to my lower left. And here is something to look at. So he's taking a touch, pretty straight touch, uh, which means he's going to go with a driven shot. He's not their striker. He's not going to curve it around me. And as you can see, I'm taking one or two steps up. Also, I got my right center back covering my right. So I kind of knew that he was going to go to my left 
you can't guess, you can't go early. Never go early, obviously, but these are something you can see. Try to read the player, try to read the game and see if that can help you a little bit. And if he would have gone to my right, shoot to my right, then I would definitely have been able to dive to my right because I didn't dive early to my left, if you understand what I'm trying to say. That is how I analyze my game. First off, I cut out almost every time I touch the ball. And then I look at specific actions and try to see what went wrong, what went right. And if I see something that is going wrong in multiple games, then I try to change that and try to see how I can work on it. And I'm not trying to overanalyze my games. I'm watching out for patterns and similar situations that you can see in different games. When I have done my analysis, then it's focus on the next game and not getting stuck in the past game. All right, that's about it for today's week's episode. As you know, football has its ups and downs and I'm trying to show you the reality here. So that means that I'm going to show you the super save I did last weekend and also the defeat we got this week. Just gotta wake up the next day with the intention of doing 110% no matter the results you've got before. Anyway, have a great week. I'm going to see if I will be able to upload a video next week as you know or as I've said I'm traveling to Croatia this Monday. I'm going to do my best to upload a video. Anyway have a great week and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.